Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys three text animation effects that you can use in your projects or designs. Um, enjoy! Alright, so first off, what you have to do is create a new composition, obviously. So, create a new composition. Name it anything you would like. I'll name mine text, anima text animations. Alright. Um, I'll be using 4K for this video, but most of you guys can just use 1920 by 1080 I'll also be using that for today's tutorial. And just make the duration 10 seconds. Alright, that's it. Alright, so the first text animation we'll be learning is incredibly simple, but used in lots of videos and projects. It's, it's like really simple and incredibly easy to do. So it'll be really quick. So yeah. Uh, so first go ahead and click the text tool right here on the top and then go ahead and click any part of your screen preview sc preview screen and then type any text you would like I'll name mine text oops text all right and then I'll just make mine I'll just customize it a bit I'll also change the font so I'll make mine like a this text all right so as soon as you do that you want to select this font i mean you want to select this text and then click these little two um align horizontally and align vertically to centerize your text all right so after that what you want to do is select your text and press t in your keyboard to open up the opacity settings and then you want to drag your time indicator to around a second i'll say so a second and then just click this little stopwatch icon that says opacity and then drag your time indicator again to zero seconds and then make it zero percent again and let's watch the text animation once that, that's it's that simple it's incredibly easy and if you want to change the duration or the fading in the animation you can just drag this for example i'll make mine 2.5 seconds and then we'll take that time to fade in. It's very simple, but um, it's easy. So yeah, it's it's a it's like a really beginner type animation. So yeah, let's move on to the next animation. All right, guys. So the next animation we'll be learning is a pop slash bounce effect. I guess we want to do first is create a text, obviously, and then for this animation, you want to centerize your anchor point. So we want, how, how you do that is select this tool called the pan behind slash anchor point tool or just press Y in your keyboard and then just just uh, drag your anchor point like this and then press control while doing it and it will just centerize it like it will snap into place and then your anchor points into center. So after that, what you want to do is click the text uh, layer and then press S in your keyboard. And then you just want to move your time indicator to around a second again. Click the keyframe button. Go back to zero seconds. And then click this part to make it zero percent. So if you preview this, it will look like this. Alright, so it's it's pretty simple. But again, it's plain. It's not a really nice animation. So you want to click. So you want to select these keyframes. And then click the graph editor here. And it will show up. Um this thing it's kind of complicated but like it's easy i'll show you guys how to do it so as soon as you open up this thing this graph editor you just want to click the red line here and you just want to drag these little yellow dots so just select one yellow dot and just drag it down like this and again select this dot drag it down and then you just want to drag it like this it kind of like you just want to make it like this and then if we preview this, it will look pretty smooth. Yep. So it's it's kind of like a pop effect, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, it's it's nice to have it. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. Let's move on to the next text animation. All right, guys. So the next text animation will be the slide in animation. So let's get right into it. So you want to select the text. Obviously, if you have if you haven't made a text yet, you want to press the T text tool and then make it make a text <clears throat> so you want to select the text here press p in your keyboard to open up the position keyframes uh, options and then obviously you want to move your time indicator to around one second click the stopwatch icon here 
and then move your time indicator to around zero seconds again. And then move it so you can really customize this yourself. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making it from down to up. So you just want to, so this is the um, y, y position. You just want to drag it like this so it just hides. And then let's, let's uh, preview the text animation. Yeah, so it looks, it looks okay. But again, you want to change the um, animation a bit so it kind of looks smoother. So again, you want to select these keyframes and then click the graph editor here. And then it will show this up. And then you want to click the line here, this little line here, and it will show up these two yellow dots and the, the lines. So then you want to click the dot here and then just drag it down like this. So it uh, it snaps into place at zero, place at zero, sorry. And then you want to drag this again and snap it to zero. And then you just want to, you can customize this for your own, but for the, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just be making like a very simple one like this. And then just exit out of the graph editor by clicking this again, move your time indicator to zero and let's preview it. Nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. That there will be three text animations you can use in your projects or titles. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.